So, on my truck, I'm running a 2008 Mac. Um, I've kind of got plenty of room, uh, so I can kind of hang stuff where I needed to. Uh, but just to kind of give you my setup, I'm running a roper pump. So, the top here is the inlet, the bottom is out. Um, when I had them, uh, when I had them build the uh, pipes, I had them uh, also build a bypass. So, as I uh, you know, make sure the product's flowing. I don't start with the pump on, I start it with the bypass on. So it really just goes in and bypasses and actually skips the pump. And once I start pumping the product, I'll actually open the bypass up slowly. That'll start pulling the, whatever it is I'm offloading, that'll start pulling it into the pump. And once I know everything's good and, and uh, there's no leaks and all the hoses are connected, then I'll go ahead and just continue to open it all the way until this thing's really, uh, really running full steam. Uh, when I first started, I actually started running my pump at 900 RPMs. Uh, the PTO I have on the truck is actually a uh, one to, I think it's one to one to one, one to one two. So it's turning out 120% of what the RPMs say. So if my RPMs are at 900, it's actually running a little over 1,000. I found that was actually too fast. Uh, so lesson learned. I. Um, I actually start now pumping off at uh, around 700 RPMs. My truck idles at about eh, a little under 650. So I just want to get it up and over in case you know there's a product surge or something that doesn't bog the bog the motor down. So let's see if I can get a picture of there's the there's the Roper pump. If you notice, I only have one PTO shaft. There's actually my air compressor. I'm running a Quincy air compressor. Um, if you notice, I kind of did it the cheap way. Uh, there's a couple of different ways you can run these uh, PTOs. Um, I was trying to save some money, so I ran a single shaft off a single PTO, and I've got a split shaft. So there's a button right there. Actually, I just press the button, and the shaft slides off, and then I can move it over to the air compressor. The downside of this is I can't run both the air compressor and the product pump at the same time. I don't really have a need to do that, but occasionally we get some really, really thick product, and uh, usually the customer has air, so we'll actually air on top of you know using my pump to pull it out. So my again, the uh, Quincy air compressor goes there. I've got it run so the hose comes over underneath the catwalk and then comes out here, so everything's on the same side of the truck. Um, all right, let's find something else to talk about.